Welcome City TV. We are on our first time with a bag and we are opening the bag. There's going to be a lot of goodies in the bag. So these are knee pads that they use in hockey. Jerseys, as you can see. Some nice jerseys. Just a little bit of excitement for the students at St. Rock School today. Opening bag after bag of skates and everything else for hockey. I'm overwhelmed that how much donations came to our school. I'm super excited. I mean, we can't even get in here. Let me just squeeze past you there. That's a, that's a big pile of skates. What do you think? I think it's amazing that they were generous enough to give us the stuff. It is definitely a mountain of equipment here. You can't even really climb over it. There's so much stuff. It took about a year to collect all of this, and now the students will be able to go skating and play hockey, some of them for the very first time. Oh, I haven't had uh, skates before, so now that we have skates, I could go skating, so I'm very happy about that. It's all thanks to a man with a vision and a lot of determination. I was a hockey dad, and uh, as our kids grew up, they left all kinds of stuff behind, as you can imagine, and I just kind of wonder what to do with this stuff. So we, uh, we ended up giving it away, and before you know it, uh, people found out, and they're giving me stuff to give away, and, and then I got involved with 23 Division, and then uh, they thought it was a great idea to have an annual thing, so it just went from there. So now, each year, John collects the hockey equipment that is dropped off at his home or at 23 Division and picks a deserving school in his area, primarily one with new Canadians or those who have never had a chance to skate. Some schools are have less money and less opportunities to go skating, but hopefully those schools will be touched by John Enga's kindness and will be donated skates sooner or later. And they're going to start putting this all to use right away. They'll be doing their first skating trip next week. Otto Brown, City News.